Okay, Ethan, give me something on this sentence. The researchers made progress last night in the fight against disease. The complete subject is the researchers. Excellent. What is the complete predicate, Ethan? The complete predicate is made progress last night in the fight against disease. Mm -hmm. By the way, I hope you've been started on this, kids in class, because um, there's a lot going on in this sentence. Bree. The simple subject is researchers. Yeah. Ella. The simple predicate is me. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think we're with Donnie. What do you got for me, Donnie? The is an adjective describing researchers, and it's also a definite article. Yeah. The is an adjective, it is also a definite article. And it is describing researchers. Good job. Clara. Um, Sorry, couldn't even find it. The is a definite article, also an adjective, because all articles are adjectives are all Adjectives are articles. No, no. No, because there's only three articles, a uh, and the. Quinn. Um, researchers is a common noun. Researchers is a common noun. Mia. Um, last is an adjective describing the night. Mm -hmm. Last is an adjective and it is describing night. Emery. Um, in the fight is a prepositional phrase. In the fight is a prepositional phrase. Very good. Drew. Um, I guess diseases is a prepositional phrase. Mm -hmm. We have a second prepositional phrase. Very good. Kale. Um, uh, made would be a verb. Mm -hmm. What kind of verb? A, it's not an action. Wait, it is? Yeah. It is an oh, action. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are it's an action verb. Ashley. Um, Mm -hmm. And it's a preposition because we know that all prepositional phrases begin with a preposition, right? Brooklyn. Fight is the object of the preposition. Fight is the object of the preposition. Very good. Gus. Progress is the direct object. Progress is the direct object. Thank you, Gus. Very good. Cooper. Well, progress, is a common noun. progress is a common noun. What other kind of noun is it? You're welcome. What other kind of noun is this? This could be something we could begin an essay with. Mia? It's an abstract noun. Oh. It's not a tangible object, it is intangible, therefore it is an abstract. All right, Ethan, we're starting over with you. Uh, in the position against diseases, against this position. Mm -hmm. in, the prepositional phrase, in the prepositional phrase against diseases? Yep, against is a preposition. Free. Uh, diseases is the object of the preposition. Mm -hmm. Diseases is the object of the preposition. Ella. Um, I can tell you night, fight, diseases, none of those have parts of speech labeled on them. Diseases is the noun. Mm -hmm. Common or proper? Common. Common noun. Very good. Donnie. Would night be a common noun? Yep. 
night is a common noun. Now, if it was this night, it would be a proper, proper noun. Very good. Clara. Common or proper? Very good. All right, I believe all our words are labeled, right? So we have a few things we still need to do. Who's ready for this challenge? All right, Quinn, you're up. Uh, there's one clause. How do you know that? Because there's one subject and one predicate. One subject, one predicate means we have one clause. And the clause is independent. And it is independent. Why? Because there's only one subject and one predicate. That's not why it's independent. That's why it's something else. Why is this independent? Because you can use it by itself. Yes, it can stand alone. It makes sense all by itself. Doesn't need help. Mia. A simple, simple sentence. Why? Because it's made of one clause. Mm -hmm. It's a simple sentence because it is one independent clause. Emery. Um, the sentence is declarative. It is declarative. And for our friends at home, real quick, who labeled this as the direct object? Gus, you did it as a direct object. How did you figure that out? Um, who or what did the researchers make? Mm -hmm. Who or what did SSSP, putting it into words, is who or what the did the researchers make? They made progress. Very good. All right, Drew, do you see something else needs done? Um, it's a declarative sentence. Oh, did you just say that? That was. Yeah, it's already up there. Think of these, Drew. Remember, prepositional phrases, all prepositional phrases act as single parts of speech. So this is going to be an adjective or an adverb, and this is going to be an adjective or an adverb. What do you think? So in the, so in the fight describes progress. Yes. Which progress? The progress in the fight, right? And if progress is a noun, what part of speech is that phrase acting as? It's an adjective phrase. All right, Kale, what about the other one? What's it talking about? What's against diseases talking about? Uh, what the researchers made progress in, or what they're fighting. There you go, except that fighting isn't the word. It's describing the fight. Fight, fight it's a noun, so what part of speech is this phrase acting as? Which describes a noun. Yeah, really. It's an adjective. Adjectives describe nouns, right? All right, is there anything else I'm forgetting, kids? I don't think so, but let's just review real quick. What can I do with a prepositional phrase, usually? Remove it from the I can take it out. So if I take this out, and I take this out, can I say the researchers made progress last night? Yes. Yes, I can. Very good. Excellent.